today's topic is, can you really remove hard inquiries off your credit score, right? Off your credit score um, in 24, 48, or 72 hours. Stay tuned. You do not want to miss what I got going on because I will be making some calls. I want you to take notes. Also, if you need notes, email me. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click that button right there. If you need this information, DM me uh, um, on, my, on my Instagram. I also have my Instagram um, post on here or Facebook. You can DM me. Or if you just feel comfortable with just doing everything through email, email me. I email you a free, free um, credit removal kit. Also, I will also email you a free dispute letter. Listen to me, y'all. You do not want to miss. We talk about some credit secrets, guys. It's a credit secret. It's a credit world. You gotta understand credit rules, everything around me. Let's get this cream. You already know it's a move, not a monument. The ground most definitely gonna be respected. Go ahead and stay tuned, please. This is Experian. And if you read, it says right here, how to dispute, how to remove disputes from your credit report within 48 hours, right? So we're gonna go ahead and give them a call. This is Experian. 714-830-7000. Experian. And this phone that I'm recording on, I got all of them on my phone, but right here I don't. Let's get them on the call, yeah. Thank you for calling Experian. Yes, uh, I'm sorry. Can you say what your name was again? It had broke up. Special services. Yes, it is Roxanne. It's spelled R-O-X-A-N-N-E. Roxanne. How you doing, Roxanne? Yes, I was calling because um, I had sent some unverifiable and unauthorized inquiries on my report, my credit report, and I like to go ahead and get them removed off my credit. Okay, you think they could be fraud-related? Yes, ma'am. Did you send the document to us? Um, I sent a document, it, it was right around that time. Um, I'm, I'm looking up on my computer right now because I normally have everything you know, documented. I sent something to them, I also sent something to the creditors uh, the lenders who 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 pretty much said that um, when I called them, they told me that they didn't have you know no accounts with me on there. So just call you call you guys. So that's why I'm calling you guys back again because like I said, they said they had no recognition of me even being you know you have an account with them or anything of that nature. Cause I only seen ten of them on there. I think ten or eleven. The Um, yes, ma I, I believe so. Let me look at that too as well. Nick. Um, I know I had broke up. What did you say about the dispute? The interest will be off your file within the next 24 to 72 hours. Okay, 24 to 48 hours? 24 to 72. 24 to 72, okay. So if it's not removed, I'll just give you guys a call back uh, by like Wednesday. Oh, it definitely will be removed. Oh, you said it definitely will be removed? Okay, all right. Yes, please. I want to look at your house because I just got my inquiries taken off. So I'm going to look at your house. We're going to go buy your house because we just got these inquiries taken off. High five. I promise. You already know it's moving out of my ear. So look, y'all just seen that. Y'all heard that. We're going to get this thing going. That was experience. I told you experience is the easiest one to deal with. Now we're about to call TransUnion. They told me within 24 to uh, 72 uh, hours. It is now... What is, what is the date? February 4th. February 4th. I was on the phone with them. Let me see. I was on the phone with them. Uh, let me see the time frame. Time frame. For 18 minutes and 59 seconds. So almost 19 minutes. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I don't know if I can make that clear. 19 minutes with um, Experian, right? So I was on the phone with 19. I mean, with Experian for about 19 minutes. I was on the phone with them at 1014 Mountain Time. 1014 Mountain Time. Almost 19 minutes. They told me within 24 to 72 hours, my hard inquiries, the one I, I specifically gave a date on. That's why I had to pause the the the, um, the 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 video because I needed to go on there and really look and see which ones I wanted them to remove. Remember, I told you guys, you do not want to remove anything that's open or been closed that actually is good for you, right? So you want to remove the stuff that just happened. This stuff that just happened, and I think the last the last 
um, the last day that it had, well, not the last day, but the first day that I, I recognized it was in like October, right? So, so I did it from October to just like a couple days ago, yesterday. I just had an inquiry yesterday. So you can remove them even if you got some a day or two days ago. You see what I'm saying? You just got to get on, be persistent. Don't allow nobody to tell you that you can't do it. Yes, you can do it. You just got to do it, right? You just got to do it. So I'll give you another update in the next couple of days. If they do it tomorrow, I guess what? I, I video chat you and let you know. I mean, I video chat you. I'll show you a video of my credit. You know, my inquiry is being removed. And watch this. While your inquiry is being removed, that, that means that my, my credit score is going. So this is why I did not go to the banks and do the stuff that I was supposed to be doing today. Why? Because I do want to make sure that when I go to the banks, that I got everything in order. I cross my T's and dot in my I's. And when I go in there, I can go in there knowing that I'm free and clear from a lot of the stuff that they saying that I got to watch out for and may, may, may hurt me when I'm applying for these business line of credits or, or even open up a, you know, I'm um, 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 not even open up a personal account, but even trying to apply for, you know, uh, a credit card. And I do not want to be denied just because of technicality or because I did not take the time out to figure out what was on my report and actually help myself remove some of the stuff from off my credit score. She made a book account. We ain't done though, y'all. I'm going to call it uh, a churn machine. I told y'all, everybody go. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your man, Neighborhood Cap. You already know it's a move on the monument. So I, I'm, I'm a promise keeper, right? Like I said, I promise to show you guys. So right now, I just put up my experience. So this is my experience. It says, you see, that's my name. Calvin, here is your credit snapshot. You see, I'm at a 714 with experience, right? Um, today's date, February 9th, 2022. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys and see if this stuff really worked. I know I just made a call to Experian a couple of days ago. They told me that my inquiries was going to be taken off within 24 to 48 hours, sometimes 72 hours. So we're going to see if it really worked. Let's go through the process and let me show you guys exactly if they say they did what they said they was going to do. They, the lady told me, y'all heard it. The lady said that my inquiries will be taken off. So the process do work. Let's just check it out, guys. So this is February 4th. I was at a 697. My score went down, what, seven points? I was at a 697, right? So let's, just, let's just back out of that. Let's back out of that. Was, now, this is February 4th. We see that. February 4th, 2022. We are now in February 9th. Let's do February 5th. What happened on February 5th, 2022? Let's see. February 5th. So the very next day, y'all see that? February 4th, I was at a 697. After I called and I disputed my hard inquiries to get removed, it jumped up 17 points to where now I got February 5th, one day later. So it did happen in 24 hours. It didn't take 48 or 72 hours. It actually happened in 24 hours with experience. My credit score jumped up 17 points to a 714. I cannot make this up, y'all. This is really me. Like you see my name, Calvin. This is really me. Should have said neighborhood Calvin. You hear me? But no, this is really me. Credit Cal, whatever you want to call me. Um, most definitely, uh, the ground will be respected. But you guys see this. Now, this is February 5th, right? February 4th, I was at a 697. After I got the phone, y'all y'all heard me on the phone with the people. After I got the phone, one of my stuff changed the very next day. Now, let's go back to February 9th, which is today. Today is February 9th. Let's see if it's still the same. We still at a 714, guys. Keep my promise. Now, y'all see that that worked out. Now it's time for me to get my work out. You hear me? In real life. Because I believe that a healthy life is a wealthy life. It's time to get the work out, oh, baby. Go ahead and try that. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. You already know it's your man, Abel Cal, also known as Credit Cal. You know it's a move, not a monument. The grind most definitely will be respected. Hit that link below. Go ahead. I'm teaching you guys how to go ahead and better finance. How to be better financial free. You know what I'm saying? The 2022 to all eternity. You're in no peace. Hey, boy. The real hustlers got to build business credit by your man, they book out. Why well, should show you guys how to go ahead and leverage your business line of credit? If you got a business, you ain't got no business line of credit, you slip it. Where to get that book? Check me out. You already know it's a move, not a monument. My ground. Most definitely, I'm going to be Victory Lab.